Yes, you have a new project coming out soon. It's really exciting. What can you tell us about the overall story? So my new book, The Lovely Reckless, is uh, comes out on October 4th. It is my first contemporary YA and is my first standalone because I'm like a serious girl. Yeah. But uh, it was really fun to write a contemporary. I was nervous about it. Can't kill as many people in a contemporary as you can in a fantasy. But it's about um, it's about a girl who is uh, she has kind of a traumatic experience and takes like a downward spiral, makes some mistakes, gets a little reckless, and so her mom really doesn't you know she makes a mistake, gets kicked out of her fancy private school. Her mom doesn't know what to do about it, so she goes to live with her dad, who is an undercover cop in stolen cars in Maryland, right in, right at the D.C. line, which is where I grew up, and my stepdad was an undercover cop in D.C. in stolen cars. So it, you know, and she goes from this very kind of privileged life, you know, she goes to, you know, the high school's diverse. There's people with money, there's middle class, there's people from like Section A housing, but it's so much bigger and she's not used to being around, you know, kids that, you know, might have any kind of like imperfect home life that's actually dangerous. You know, it's different, but there's a difference between being ignored at home and getting, you know, possibly hurt at home and or living in a neighborhood that's not safe and so she kind of has some conflict with her dad but she also meets a boy who's like he's very steamy and um she kind of falls for him inadvertently like she doesn't want him to even like pay attention to her but she kind of falls for him and then she finds out that he's an illegal street racer and with a cop dad that's tough that's a huge problem and you know i mean it's a huge problem to to date someone you know i mean i can tell you who does anything illegal whatsoever if your if your dad is a cop but also um, you know street racing is very related in a lot of ways to people who are working stolen cars and you know also they can you know people can get killed it's very dangerous but I liked it was fun to write because there's a I think there's a great balance between like the angst and the humor of the characters and like the funny situations and the kind of um, you know like more serious moments where she has to like you know argue with her dad about things or decide whether or not she can you know be with this boy i always say it's like a lot of kissing street car racing and sexy boys sounds like a great action movie <laughs> that's kind of like my you know my uh, my editor calls it uh romeo and juliet means the fast and the furious so but i like it we're it's, sold uh, it's diverse it's fun and i'm writing now another standalone contemporary romance so it was obviously it was a fun experience yeah. Now, with you growing up with an undercover cop, what was that like? If Did you have to go through like the checklist with the guys or even oh, yeah, your yeah. friends? What was it like? Once some people figured out what he did, I definitely had a lot less dates. I knew how to like, you know, get out of zip ties and handcuffs. And like, I knew, you know, I knew way too much about children who, you know, at a very young age who had been kidnapped or and serial killers, you know, like, you know, don't, you know, don't go out in the parking lot. You got to bend down, look underneath the cars and don't, you know, stay away from the white van. Like there was like a whole thing. But in a way, it was actually really, really good because I was in situations later in life where like I had scary things happen and I didn't panic and I knew what to do. And I didn't end up like being, you know, having to be a survivor of like a bad situation. I more, you know, kind of took hold of the bad situation. But he taught me, I mean, like, I, tell, I teach all my friends girls, you know, the first thing he said, like, you know, you never yell help, you always yell fire. Because people don't want their house or their belongings to burn up, and so everyone calls 911. If you say help, only, like, the really good Samaritan decent people will call 911. That's a really good so we tip. practice that. I thought it was kind of stifling, and I acted like a baby about it when I was a teen. But then when, later on in college, you know, like, I knew you don't leave your drink you know, out and go use the bathroom, or you don't take a drink from anybody that you didn't see come out of, you know, the receptacle. I had kind of life skills that, because of him, that I think a lot of my friends didn't. I just want to say hi from Cami Garcia, and I'm talking to Justine Magazine about my new book, The Lovely Reckless, and I love all of the Justine readers, everyone who participates in the book club, and I hope you love the book. For more about my book club, The Lovely Reckless book club, you just go to justinemagazine.com.